Welcome back for episode three of the Red Dead Redemption Let's Play. Um, last time we left off, I was just getting used to actually having my own place in this game, apparently. Um, real quick, saved, slept, opened up my um, main menu, and here we go for round three. Okay, 50 honor. Yeah. Go check out the general store. I ain't got shit as far as cash goes, but. Alright, apparently my only option is going to Bonnie's. Probably should have brought my horse. Oh well, I'll live. Alright, and now I'm at Bonnie's. Loading screen. Alrighty. Well, it's a very short loading screen. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You, back to normal. you know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson, uh, what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale. And by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. My guy's got secrets. And I apologize for my reticence. <laughs> Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. All right. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Oh, she's Marston. Betting I can't ride. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> Oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. All right, horse race. We'll see. He's kind of hoping for this. He's kind of getting bored and just run around shooting things. Let's race. Damn, it seem like a western version of Grand Theft Auto. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Yeah. Race is sunrise. Huh. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this! You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland! Oh. Apparently you can fall off your horse like that. Come on! isn't liking you right now. Right. Go. Alright. Oh, apparently it's burning it too much. Alright. This takes me getting used to. A lot of getting used to. Let's go.
really sucks. Alright, let's see if I can hit this bridge. It's a lot wider. And I almost jumped my horse off the bridge. I am a brilliant horse rider. Remind me to never try to have this as my job. Of course, that's my excuse. That was fun. That was fun. Sure. You, should go you know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marshall. not too far. I was probably halfway there just on that one race. Hmm. There's Fort Mercer. Map of the Western Border States. Approximately 1910. Alright, now. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna stick at McFarland's Ranch for a bit. Let's see, can I get into the general store yet? No, oh, general store's open now. Alright. Always glad to see a customer. Great. Excuse me, mister. Careful there, sir. Uh, here's who I have to talk to, okay. Dear sir, hello. I hope you see something you need. So, I ain't gonna crap this so. All right. That's what I worried about. Nah, yeah, I don't need to help me. Let's go back to Bonnie's. Why, hello. Sprint, dude. Sprint. Oh, hey, look, a stagecoach. Alright, this is Armadillo, USA. Oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Mr. McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I can do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the driver's seat. Come on. And I get to drive a wagon. All right. Drive the wagon to Armadillo. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss. I have not. Well, that's really... Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be All frank. Right. What about you? Have you ever I mean, given up hope altogether? Hope well, has more really people on the road, and they're moving slower than really a wagon. Something I think about. That's kind of sad. That's a peculiar outlook. Past, I can't know. really say I understand you. I can't always say I do Yup, <laughs> you fell off the horse. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Right around the 
he's you gonna go for have it. A sense oh, and you got bugged well, out. Okay, oh, oh. I'll throw it. Start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business is really important as your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad okay, man. A little stupid, perhaps, but I'll, not I'll wrong. Again with the I wagon. worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern Show for us lesser race. mortals, Mr. Farland. I really do. And that if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. Come on. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up a great plane. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the queen Here's of England. Armadillo. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's All looking right. after this farm of yours right now? Well, guys, I think I will leave you here for now. Um, Come back tomorrow, and you'll see part four.